first question is for George. Uh, does it bother you that throughout this media tour, uh, Michael Bisping has made numerous accusations about PEDs in USADA, considering uh, before you left the UFC, you were an outspoken proponent of bringing in uh, a more enhanced drug testing program, and it was a source of conflict between you and the UFC at the time. No, it, it doesn't. I, I, I don't even think he believes it himself. So it's no, no problem. Is, it, is that true, Michael? Do you, do you even truly believe these accusations you voiced recently during the media tour? Well, it's all a game of he said, she said. You know, so I'm hearing things from certain people who shall remain nameless. But I've heard a couple of things uh, from back in the day. Now, we're not talking about recent things. Right now, I think it's going to be a level playing field. You know, you saw that are testing people. I'm assuming the testing George have certainly been testing me. So he's going to be clean. But I think back in the day, there were some sneaky supplements going on. But that's only from third-party sources. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, he's a clean athlete. He's a former welterweight champion. I'm the middleweight champion. We're both clean. I'm going to whoop his ass. That's about it. George has voiced that he thinks you're terrified of his grappling and wrestling game, and it's really been a great <laughs> equalizer throughout his career. And uh, on your show, you also said you, you, you respect his wrestling game and you're not terrified of it of, uh, at all. So I'm just curious, how do you prepare for the wrestling uh, of George St. Pierre? I mean... The, for George to use the word terrifying about himself is the most laughable thing I've ever heard. George is a very technical guy, but there's nothing terrifying about him in the slightest. There's nothing remotely scary about him whatsoever. Now, do I respect his wrestling credentials? Of course I do. Uh, that's why I brought in way better wrestlers. These guys were throwing me around like a bloody, you know, they were tossing me on my head left, right and center. But uh, guess what? They're not tossing me on my head anymore. So uh, if George can get it done, God bless him. If George can beat me, raise, my, raise his hand and say, well done. I've got no injuries. I've had the best time of my life. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm knocking out sparring partners every single sparring session. Now, of course, that sounds like tough talk, but it really is true. I'm knocking people out. I'm a knockout artist now with punches, kicks, you name it. People are dropping like flies. And George St. Pierre will be the next one to get dropped. George has talked a lot about, you know, being aggressive, going for the finish. And it seemed like a lot of that style that he had before, you know, kind of changed after the loss to Matt Serra, where he did kind of go to more of a wrestling-heavy style in his, uh, in his attacks uh, with his fights. Do you believe him when he says he's actually going to come out there and, you know, gun for the finish in this fight? No, I'll guarantee you, I see more aggression out of my wife when, when it's Christmas shopping than what we'll see out of George in Madison Square Garden. Um, He's going to fight the same way he always fights. Listen, he's saying he's reinvented the wheel and he's going to do something different. But here's the fact, and George knows this, when you're under pressure, you fight the way you fight. You go back to your comfort zone. You go back to the things you like to do. And he's going to look to take me down. And that's granted. That's within the skill set. That's within the rules. It is mixed martial arts. It's not a boxing contest. It's not kickboxing. So God bless him. Try it. Good luck. Uh, and, I, and I'll be ready. You know, but... He, he fights the way he fights, and the, most of the people that he's beaten are all lightweights or featherweights. All right, there's a couple of solid welterweights on there, like Carlos Condit and people like that. But he hasn't fought anyone with my size, anyone with my well-roundedness. Like Jake Shields, straight-up grappler. Uh, some people just, Carlos Condit, straight-up striker. Uh, Nick Diaz, you know, he, he, you know he, he, he's got no wrestling whatsoever, so he couldn't stop the takedowns. I can stop the takedowns. To say I'm terrified is laughable. It's hilarious. I didn't know George was such a comedian. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to see George wrestle. We all know it. I want to defend the belt. I want to remain the champion. I want to represent my country, and I want to perform for everyone that tunes in and watches. Um, if, if I get more respect afterwards, that's all well and good. That's fine. Uh, what we should do, though, is ask George about uh, his long-term mentor, Christophe Madou, did a, 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 a podcast recently. and was taught, It was in French, so maybe you guys didn't pick it up, but he said that he had to leave the camp, George, because he was sparring so bad and he was slow and he didn't like the way George was performing. Um, what do you say to that, George? What's your response, man? It's found out November 4th. You'll see how I... Oh! Come on, your own mentor 
He's talking shit about him, saying he's performing like crap. It's boring and he's really slow. And we've all seen uh, in the promos, George, you do look slow, man. You look slow. So maybe maybe, maybe get jumping rope or skipping or something. Do some footwork drills. I'm going to win a kickboxing match with him, and I'm going to put him down when I want to put him down, Ooh. whenever I want to put him down. And it's going to happen. There we go. Say it. There, there we go. <laughs> there's, a, there's the talk. There is it. There it is, George. Yes. George, I hear you oh. super slow, man. You, hey, remember, I live in Orange County. You came down to Orange County and did some karate training recently and got your ass served, and everyone talked about <laughs> how slow you were, right? That sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, you, you were slow, buddy. I got my little spies, George. Yeah. I got my little spies. You ain't shit, pal. When you can't take me down, you're fucked. <laughs> so, yeah, my last question, uh, George, you definitely have gained some mass. Um, do you feel that is going to hurt your cardio, and do you feel that it's going to make you slower? I'm actually, I feel, I feel more powerful than ever at this mass. I feel like more muscle and, and leaner. Yeah, and I eat way more health, healthy than, than before. And it makes a big difference, you know. Uh, I never eat like this before. I never had a program. I, I was always eating whenever, whenever I want. And it, it changed my body a little bit. And it makes me make feel better for inside. It makes you feel better. It's, you know, you recuperate better and... and and uh, you sleep better, and it's 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 all good. It's all positive. I can't I can't wait to show to show him. Yeah. I can't wait to. to, sh- I can't wait to, to yeah, but we've got all. Take that extra oxygen, George. You know you're gonna be blowing out your ass at the end of the third round, thinking, "Fuck! I wish I was 20 pounds lighter." All those extra calories you took off the extra that fat little head you got, that little wrong fat. Is it a problem with Michael Bisping? Yeah. There. You know, his problem with Michael, Michael this thing is, and every interview he does, every interview he does, he's begging me to, to stand and bang with him, but because that's bang. the only way, the only way he can win. like, and even bang. there, it's not, it's that not guaranteed, that he's gonna, it's not guaranteed he's not gonna win. So he's begging me because he's terrified that I put him down and I punch him in the face. What, what I'm gonna do? I break him down. Oh wow! 